Hello, today I would like to show you how to configure your booking calendar control for Field Service Mobile with additional custom fields for your frontline workers. As you know, today in the Field Service Mobile application, <clears throat> the booking calendar control will display the account name, the incident type, the account address, and the booking status. With this new enhancement, You'll, you'll be able to configure three additional fields from entities which are related to the bookable resource booking. Additionally, you will be able to update the incident type to an additional field of your choosing. The first step is to enter, enter system customizations and navigate to the bookable resource booking entity. Click on views. Here you can find the default view. To allow additional fields on the bookable resource booking calendar control, you will add the, the fields into the view. This, this makes the fields available to the control, which we will configure next. So in this example, I will grab some fields from the work order. The work order has an established relationship with the bookable resource booking, but really this could be from any entity with, with a relationship, including custom entities. In this example, I will add, I will add priority. I will add work location. And I will add work order number. And okay. You can now see these three new columns in the view. And this this will uh, add these to the view, but they, at this point they're hidden from the mobile application. So we can save and close this. Next step is to go into the read bookable resource booking entity. Click on controls. And you will see the booking calendar control. This is the, the default recommended control for the field service mobile application um, and it is configured for the phone and tablet. In the control properties, you can see the additional custom fields. Uh, the field, first field is referred to as primary uh, custom field and this has the bold treatment. It is pre-configured as incident type. I'll leave that one. You can then see the three additional custom fields and then field labels. And so field labels um, would be prefixed in front of the field, the attribute of the field that you'd configured, and they are optional. And so for custom field one, um, I will configure um, the work order priority. And so to configure this, you will want to uh, add the entity name. So this is coming from work order, so MSTYN. And then um, with a with a period, and then the attribute name. And OK. For custom field two, I will add uh, work order location. And for custom field three, I will add the work order name. And then for labels, um, I think priority, it's, it'd be good to label that as my priorities are typically high, medium, and low, but I will add priority. And since this is um, priority is already configured in custom field one, I will add it to um, custom field label one to align with that field. Um, location, I believe is fairly self-explanatory, so I'll leave that one blank in this example. And then last, I will add work order number as a label for the additional one. There is a colon um, automatically added between the field and the attribute or the value. All right, and I will leave the, leave the label blank for the incident type. All right, I'll save this. And then I will publish.
OK. And now back to the mobile application. Uh, to make sure I get the updates, I will reconfigure. And now you can see in the mobile application, I have I still have the account name. I have the incident type, which is diagnose or hardware failure. I have the account address. I now have the field label that I had configured, uh, priority colon. The first one is low, second one is an emergency. Um, the uh, third field I configured is location or work location. First one is location agnostic. The second one is an on-site um, work order. And finally, I had configured the work order number. Easy as that, uh, you can configure new fields for your field service mobile application to provide more specific data to your frontline workers to meet your, your unique business needs. Thank you very much.